In this video I'm going to show you my Arduino 101 Bluetooth buggy. So I have some other videos um, and I go into great detail about putting together a, a tank chassis. This is pretty much the same exact thing only it's it actually has four motors. Um, I also have a video where I go through the code. Um, I modified it a little bit to run all four motors now um, but you can run it on the two-wheel drive or four-wheel drive it doesn't matter you don't need to modify the code uh, you can certainly put this together yourself and I also go into detail about how to build this uh, blink uh, remote control on your phone The range on the BLE Bluetooth Low Energy is really very good. What number is that, Sydney? 73. All right, now crank it up. All the way? Sure. Once again, this Dagu uh, chassis comes with a 5 AA battery uh, holder, but if you try to run the Arduino and the motors on the single power supply, whenever you turn the wheels on, it, brown it pulls the voltage down and your board will brown out on low voltage, so it really doesn't work out very well. So I have this cool little uh, 5 volt USB battery pack here. You can get these for about a dollar or two on eBay. I happen to have a bunch of extra batteries um, from tearing apart old laptops that uh, old laptop battery packs that weren't working. This is a one foot uh, USB cable. Of course be sure that if you're using two power supplies um, there's a jumper here that is removed. If you put that on it this jumper is meant to be installed if you're powering everything off of a single power source. But when the way this is wired, this is a uh, JST battery connector. This is just going over to this battery pack. The wires for the motors I start with. Left front motor goes into motor one. Red, black. This is right front, red, black. This is left rear, red, black. Right rear, red, black. Of course you can just plug in the wires and if a motor's turning in the wrong direction just flip it over. Essentially what this is doing is this motor and this motor run the same direction and this motor and this motor just run in the same direction. In fact you could probably just take these jumpers and put them in here. There's really no reason to have four outputs but anyway obviously you can modify the code to run other things. And once again, there's three more videos and a hackster and blog post. So if you want to build one of these yourself, um, it's quite fun. I drove this thing around for about 30 minutes. My kids drove it. Uh, it still seems to have full power. So I think you can drive this around for quite a while uh, in this configuration.